expecting you put it where the sun is it would unwind to the circle of Jupiter a monster totally shaky and going to explode. They are among the most observable impacts of radio energy in the entire universe conveying more energy than a billion suns. Betelgeuse, often pronounced Betelgeuse, is a red giant star. Assuming you put it where the sun is it would connect with the circle of Jupiter massive, absolutely inconsistent and moreover going to explode. When we think about stars, we no doubt imagine irrelevant glimmering things in the night sky. Basically, this is how we see them from down here on Earth. Yet stars are something completely different. In fact, perhaps one of the most prominent stars, Betelgeuse, is fundamentally more critical than our Sun. For quite a while, this star has perplexed generations. However, truth be told something even more unsettling has been happening with Betelgeuse, making scientists and other highly accomplished individuals extraordinarily concerned. Join us in this video as we investigate groundbreaking new data about Betelgeuse, its impending destruction as predicted by the James Webb Space Telescope, and how this new development will impact our universe and our lives here on Earth. As explained by physicist Michio Kaku, Betelgeuse is a gigantic marvel, a giant star that has fascinated astronomers for centuries. A Greek astronomer named Antonius was the first to document it. This star is so immense that it can be seen in the night sky from Earth, particularly during winter. If you're into astronomy, you've undoubtedly seen or heard about this star. The glowing orange star marks the upper left shoulder of the Orion constellation. So you see this star is ancient and thus far may be one of the most brilliant stars in the night sky. However, one thing about Betelgeuse's brightness is that it doesn't stay constant. Rather, it fluctuates. This variation is one of the star's defining characteristics, but it is not the only one. Let's explore some of Betelgeuse's unique properties. Most of the stars you see in the night sky are incredibly far from Earth. The closest star, Proxima Centauri, is 4.2 light years away. If you dismiss how the term light years conveys distance, picture it this way. Imagine traveling at the speed of light for an entire year. Light moves at approximately 186,000 miles per second. Thus, the distance light can cover in a year is equivalent to 1 light year billions of miles. So when we say the closest star is 4.2 light years away, it means it is still billions of miles from Earth. Now consider this some stars are even farther away and Betelgeuse is one of them. Betelgeuse is approximately 600 light years from Earth. So even if you could travel at the speed of light, it would still take 600 years to reach it. Our fastest space rockets don't come close to this speed. Yet despite its vast distance Betelgeuse still shines brightly in our sky. If you're wondering how it can be so luminous despite being so far away, the answer lies in its unique attributes, size, and luminosity. Betelgeuse is many times more massive than our sun. Its radius is estimated to be around 1,000 times that of the sun. Unfortunately, it appears as a mere disk in space, even with modern telescopes. While many stars appear as tiny points of light, Betelgeuse is visibly larger due to the turbulent reactions in its outer layers. In terms of mass, Betelgeuse weighs approximately 12 to 19 solar masses. A solar mass is a standard unit of mass used by astronomers with one solar mass equaling 210 superscript 3 kg. Scientists cannot determine the exact mass of Betelgeuse because it lacks planetary bodies orbiting it which could provide comparative measurements. Regardless, this makes Betelgeuse significantly heavier than our Sun. Its brightness varies between magnitude 0 and 1.6. In simple terms Betelgeuse is much brighter than our sun, which is why it has been nicknamed a red giant. However, its luminosity is not stable, it fluctuates. These changes occur due to its pulsations, the star expands and contracts. When it expands, it becomes brighter, when it contracts, it dims. This cycle can last anywhere from 10 to 100 days or even significantly longer. One intriguing feature of Betelgeuse is its dark magnetic spots. Its magnetic field is far stronger than the surrounding areas, and these spots interfere with the flow of hot gas to the star's outer layers, making some regions cooler. In fact, Betelgeuse has far more of these spots compared to our sun, which explains why it is cooler than the sun despite its massive size and brightness. For comparison, the dark spots on Betelgeuse can be twice the size of Earth. Additionally, Betelgeuse boasts a magnetic field thousands of times stronger than the sun's. This is why when viewed through a telescope, the gases in Betelgeuse's outer layers appear to swirl and twist chaotically. The surface temperature of Betelgeuse is approximately 3,500 K. 
This low temperature contributes to its red color and relatively lower energy output compared to other massive stars. Interestingly, Betelgeuse was not always red. About 100,000 years ago, it was yellowish similar to our sun. Over time it changed to orange-red, and about 1,000 years ago it transitioned into the red giant we see today. This gradual shift in color has led scientists to believe that the star is evolving and nearing the end of its life cycle. Despite being 600 light-years away, Betelgeuse is still visible to the naked eye at night, an astonishing fact. If it were much closer, we would likely see it even during the daytime. However, if Betelgeuse were to replace the sun, it would engulf Earth and the inner planets simply due to its enormous size. Even if it were the same size as the sun, it would emit far more radiation making life on Earth impossible. Betelgeuse is a dying star heading toward its ultimate fate, a supernova explosion. When it runs out of fuel, it will fuse heavier elements like helium and carbon causing it to expand even further. Eventually Betelgeuse will explode in a spectacular supernova releasing more energy in seconds than the sun has in its entire lifetime. This explosion will be so powerful that it could briefly outshine the moon and be visible during the daytime. Some astronomers estimate that Betelgeuse could go supernova within the next 100,000 years, a brief moment in cosmic time yet still unpredictable. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, has provided new insights into Betelgeuse's behavior revealing fluctuations in its brightness that could indicate it is nearing the final stages of its life. When Betelgeuse explodes, its shock waves could trigger the formation of new stars in its vicinity. Additionally, the explosion will scatter heavy elements like iron and nickel which are essential for forming new planets and even life itself. While none of us will be around to witness Betelgeuse's supernova, studying its behavior helps astronomers understand the life cycles of stars and the evolution of galaxies. Even though Betelgeuse's end is inevitable, it serves as a reminder of the ever-changing, dynamic nature of the universe. The future of Betelgeuse and its impact on. As Betelgeuse continues its life cycle astronomers are closely monitoring its changes searching for signs of its impending supernova. The data gathered from the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, and other observatories provide crucial insights into how massive stars evolve and die. While we cannot predict the exact moment Betelgeuse will explode the scientific community remains on high alert for any significant developments. Happen when Betelgeuse goes supernova. When Betelgeuse finally reaches the end of its life, its core will collapse under the immense gravitational force. This will trigger a type supernova, an event that occurs when a massive star exhausts its nuclear fuel. Betelgeuse will no longer be able to sustain nuclear fusion, causing its core to collapse in a fraction of a second. The collapse will create a dense, incredibly hot core while the outer layers explode outward. Supernova Explosion the explosion will release an immense amount of energy, possibly as much as the sun emits over its entire lifetime in just a few seconds. This burst of energy will briefly make Betelgeuse one of the brightest objects in the night sky potentially visible even during the daytime for weeks or months. The explosion will scatter heavy elements like iron nickel and oxygen into space. These elements formed in the heart of Betelgeuse will contribute to the cosmic cycle of star formation, providing raw materials for future stars' planets and even the building blocks of life. Formation of a neutron star or black hole. Depending on the mass of the remaining core Betelgeuse will either become a neutron star, a highly dense compact object, or collapse into a black hole. If it forms a neutron star, it could emit strong pulses of radiation becoming a pulsar. If it forms a black hole, it will distort space-time around it, influencing nearby celestial objects. Will the supernova affect Earth? The good news is that Betelgeuse is too far away, about 600 light-years, to pose any direct threat to Earth. While the explosion will be spectacular, it is unlikely to have harmful effects on our planet. However, if Betelgeuse were closer within about 50 light-years, its supernova could release a dangerous amount of gamma-ray radiation which could potentially strip away Earth's ozone layer and disrupt ecosystems. But at 600 light-years away, the explosion will be more of a breathtaking celestial event rather than a danger. From Betelgeuse's supernova When Betelgeuse explodes, it will be one of the closest supernovae observed in modern history, giving scientists an unprecedented opportunity to study stellar death in real time.